नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटीज लाइकली ओवर साउथ पेनसुलर इंडिया ड्यूरिंग थर्टियथ अक्टूबर टू सेकेंड ऑफ नवंबर एंड नो सिग्निफिकेंट वेदर इज लाइकली ओवर रेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट वन वीक इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द ऑब्जर्व वेदर सो आइसोलेटेड हैवी रेनफॉल हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व ओवर नागापत्नम डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ तमिलनाडु एंड ऑल्सो ओवर रायगढ़ा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ उड़ीसा एक्सेप्ट दिस जस्ट आइसोलेटेड रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व ओवर एक्सट्रीम साउथ पेनसुलर इंडिया एंड ओवर जे एंड के ड्यूरिंग पास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स isolated ending at 8:30 hours ist of today if we look into the synoptic system so we have a, a western disturbance roughly along 72 degree of uh, longitude uh, to the north of 32 degree uh, latitude so this will only be affecting j and k where uh, isolated uh, light uh, uh, rainfall activity is likely to occur uh, except this we have a cyclonic circulation over southwest bay of bengal of uh, south andhra pradesh coast uh, in the middle tropospheric levels under the influence of wind Which, uh, we are expecting uh, thunderstorm activity over south coastal andhra pradesh and also over rail sima during next 24 hours and isolated heavy rainfall is likely over uh, uh, tamil nadu during next 24 hours and tomorrow isolated heavy rainfall activity is likely over tamil nadu and south interior karnataka thereafter on uh, 1st of november again uh, uh, south interior karnataka tamil nadu and kerala are, are likely to receive light to moderate rainfall at uh, some places with ice isolated heavy rainfall and on 2nd of november uh, tamil nadu and kerala are likely to receive uh, uh, light to moderate rainfall at isolated to scattered places with isolated heavy rainfall and on 3rd of november isolated heavy rainfall with light to moderate rainfall at uh, uh, some places is likely over kerala and thereafter on uh, 4th and 5th of november there is no likelihood of any heavy rainfall activity over the country so here as we can see in this uh, rainfall table for next 7 days that the rainfall activity is likely to remain uh, constricted just to uh, uh, Tamil Nadu uh, south interior Karnataka and Kerala and Lakshadweep during next 7 days except this the north peninsular india would be receiving just isolated uh, very light to light rainfall like over uh, Andhra Pradesh Telangana and uh, uh, Vidarbha and Marathwada and similarly over uh, northeast india only isolated uh, rainfall activity isolated very light to light rain fall activity is likely during next 7 days except this east india northwest india and central india are likely to remain dry during next 7 days if we look into this uh, maximum temperature departures picture so we can see over here that uh, the maximum temperatures are running above normal by 3 to 4.5 degree centigrade over uh, southwestern kashmir over uh, uh, over himachal pradesh and over uh, uh, many parts of uttarakhand most parts of punjab haryana delhi and uh, most parts of rajasthan and even some uh, uh, places are reporting the maximum uh, temperatures uh, to be above normal by 4.5 to 6.4 degree centigrade similarly the minimum temperatures are above normal by 4.5 to 6.4 degree centigrade over most parts of uh, j and k and over punjab north rajasthan haryana delhi up and even uh, northeast madhya pradesh chatisgarh and also over bihar and jharkhand and uh, these uh, uh, minimum temperatures and uh, these minimum temperatures which, which are also above normal by 3 to uh, 4.5 degree centigrade over himachal pradesh and uttarakhand also so these uh, minimum and maximum temperatures especially over northwest india are not likely to become normal or come down to the normal category during next one week as we are uh, not expecting any uh, western disturbance over northwest india during next one week so that's all for today tomorrow we will again meet with delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next 5 days thank you and goodbye